Ozzy here. Someone posted on one of the forums I posted my links on and asked me to do a tutorial on how I made my towers. Um, they're not perfect by any stretch. Uh, I'm, I'm fond of them. It took a bit of work and I had a good time making them. But the, the, the question was how I made towers that are round and seem somewhat smooth-ish. <laughs> See earlier comment, melted, not smooth. I started this to get this set up. Essentially, I laid out a flat surface. It's 51 across. It's an odd number to give me a middle axis. And I put a middle axis down the middle and I made it a different color than my wall. And I laid an approximation of an arc here in this corner. And this allows me to, and I made it double wide, two, two characters or two voxels wide. So I would have a chance to, to smooth it out and not make it paper thin. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab the entire sequence and I'm going to save it. Control C. And then I'm going to bring it around to the other sides. Tab, tab. There it is. And I'm going to rotate it. Interestingly enough, the arrows are backwards. There we go. There is my... And now I want to come back to here and go down, click, and then I want to rotate and put it directly on. The axis acts as both my guides for the circle and my guides for the paste. Rotate, 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 guide for the circle. Now, I now have a circle. It's wonderful. I will then remove my rails. Keeping the gray parts, losing the brown parts. Press delete. Remove the rails. <clears throat> delete. Now, I will copy my ring. I will select the entire tray, my entire plate. Whoops. Move over to there. Now, that is the plate below it, so I will grab the arrow and cursor up once. And now I have my circle. I will hit Control C, and then I will hit me back up a bit, and I will hit Control V, and I will line my circle up perfectly. It's exactly that. And now I have already have the thing I want. Mouse arrow up once, click up, click up, click, and I will just sit and continue to do this. Now, typically, if I'm in a hurry. I'll pause and then reselect a larger region and then make much bigger towers. But this allows me to make it as tall as I want. Now, once I have this, am I too tall to jump out? Yeah, so I will repel out. Once I have this, as you can imagine, I will then lose my selection tool and have to put it back on my toolbar. I will grab the selection tool and I will run around, grab the entire thing. Control A would be a wonderful tool to have, wouldn't it? All right, then I'm going to move it up one click. Then I'm going to grab the top of it and take it all the way to the top of my tower. There. Is that it? Excellent. And then I'm going to smooth. Smooth, 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 melt, melt, melty, 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 melt. Voila! A relatively rounded tower. Now, you'll have, I'm sure there's all kinds of criticisms as to the, the way I made my arc. I'm sure there's a better way to do it. If I had a visible grid, I could use some math and do it myself. But this is how I did it, and it's a great starting point. It gives you the tools you need to make the towers you want. Hope this is helpful. Enjoy playing uh, Landmark. Take care.